Hi there, thanks once again for being with me on the video version of the Norman Goldman Show. Now you know I am an attorney and I practiced the law for 25 years. But before I went to law school and even during the time I've been practicing the law, I've always been involved in politics. Truth is, I love politics and I stay away from politicians, but politics is really important. But one thing that politicians do that not too many people know about and it's really important and it's really valuable is a thing called constituent service. When you and I think of politicians, we think of them going to the state capitol or going to Washington and voting on bills or taking bribes from special interests to write bills that are favorable to the oil industry or whatever. But there's something else that politicians do that makes them very popular with the people in their districts. When politicians get into office, they want to get reelected. And one of the ways to get reelected is to deliver government services to their districts. I live in a congressman's district. I have a congressman and I know his name. I live in a city councilman's district. I live in a state senator's district and so do you. You and I and everybody we know has a congressman or a congresswoman representing us. We have two United States senators. If we live in a town, we have a city council, we have a mayor. All of these politicians, of course, are, you know, taking public money for their salaries and whatnot, but they also are there to deliver services if we know to ask for them. That's really important. There are many senior citizens who are not very good at navigating government. And so in the old days when social security checks were mailed in the mail, when they went through the mail, now they don't do that anymore, it's direct deposit into the bank, um, senior citizens would often have their social security checks go missing. Either the post office just forgot to deliver them or somebody stole them, things go wrong. And a lot of senior citizens depend on their social security to like eat. So they would call the local congressman's office and say, I, I, you know, help me, please, my social security check is gone. And there are people in every congressional office whose job it is is to cut red tape for the people that live in the district who the congressman wants to vote for them for re-election. And the job of these people, and I was one of those people, is to contact the Social Security Administration and quickly flag down the problem and fix the problem and get them their replacement Social Security check. Now, this is a lot more than just Social Security checks. Uh, there is a street not far from my home that was in terrible, terrible shape. I mean, it was just horrible. Potholes everywhere. There were these bumps. I mean, it was just dreadful. And I had to use this street. I have to use this street every day to go to and from work. So I contacted my city council office and I started making a pest of myself and I found out how to get the city to repave that street. And lo and behold, it took about a year and it took me a year of pestering various government officials, but they finally repaved this long section of street. Now that had to have cost $100,000 or more. I mean, I got the government to deliver for me by being a pest because I knew how to make the system work. So whether it's getting a street repaved, if there's a street light down the street that's burned out and so it's dark and you're afraid that muggers or burglars are going to be able to take advantage of the darkness, you can contact your local elected officials and tell them the problem and they'll be happy to fix it and make sure that you know they fixed it so that the next time election day comes around, you'll vote for them, not because of their positions on public policy issues, but because they delivered government services to you. There was a United States Senator from New York State some years ago named Al D'Amato, Alphonse D'Amato. He started out on Long Island and then he became a United States Senator and he was a Republican and he was really not a really nice guy and he was kind of abrasive and he didn't have a lot of friends in Washington. But he kept getting reelected because he was known as Pothole Al. People in New York State called Al D'Amato's offices all over New York State because he was the United States Senator, so he represented the whole state. And he would just get stuff done. He would bring home the bacon for New York State and he would remind everybody, come election time, I got this power plant built over here, I got this dam refurbished over here, I got this section of the interstate repaved over here, and he would remind people, say, hey, I'm bringing home your tax dollars and making it work for you. And he made a very successful career out of it. He was a United States Senator for a long time. Now, if you were to call a local politician's office and talk to them about it, they know exactly what constituent service is. So if you call a politician's office, just say, do you do constituent service? And they're going to say, yes, we do. And then tell them your problem. Let me give you one last tip in this area. If your problem is with the city, right? If it's a city street or a city street light, 
it's always better to call a city official, your city council member, depending upon the size of your city, the mayor's office. If your problem is with a state agency, then call your state representative, your state assembly member, your state senator, the governor's office. It's always better to work with the people that represent you in your district. Many times they will ask you your address, your home address, and if you're not in their district, they'll say, I'm sorry, you're not in our district, but they'll give you the name and number of who is in your district. Now you can use the internet to find out very quickly who is your city council member, who is your mayor, who is your state representative, who is your state senator. Find out who they are. Find out where their offices are. They have offices nearby. I guarantee you they have offices nearby. You may not notice them, but they do. Get their phone number, get their address. And if you have a problem with a state agency, call your state representatives. If you have a problem with the federal government, call your congressman's office or congresswoman's office. I always try and stay on the same level of government with the problem. So when I had this street that I was telling you about that really needed to be repaved, I dealt with the city officials because I knew it was a city street that needed to be repaved. There's no point calling the congressman's office. He's going to say, I can't help you. It's not anything the federal government deals with. you got to call the city. I knew that, and now I'm trying to share that with you. A lot of people love their local representatives, not because of their policy positions, but because they deliver government services. So keep that in mind, and if you have a problem with government, consider calling them and asking if they do constituent service. I think you'll like the response. Thanks for being with me on this video version of the Norman Goldman Show. Don't forget to check me online at normangoldman.com.